what is the difference between the brain and the mind? What is the difference between the brain and the mind? It's a very complex question. We know what the brain is. The scientists are saying now there is the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. The left side of the brain is used daily. I won't go into all the details of it. You can read it if you want to. I haven't read it. But I've been some friends who are scientists have told me about it. Left side of the brain is the is in operation, activity, functioning with all the daily activity. And the right side of the, right side of the brain is not operating fully, not functioning fully, because right side, of the, right side of the brain is much more intelligent, much more acute, much more aware. So, and also the brain is the center of all action and reaction of all the sensory responses. This is what the speaker is saying. So the brain contains or has the whole content, content of consciousness. Consciousness is your belief, your faith, your name, your faculty, capacity, all the memories, all the hurts, pleasure, pain, agony, struggle, all that, affection, so on, all that is your, the content of your consciousness. The content of your consciousness is you, is the self, is the me. That content of consciousness may invent a super, super consciousness or invent various kinds of unimagined or imagined states, but it's still within the content of your consciousness. Right? Do, you, do we see this? You, your, you are your name, your body, your anger, your greed, your competition, your ambition, your pleasure, your pain, and so on. Love, affection, all that. You are that. And that means the content of your consciousness. The content of your consciousness is the past. Right? Past memories, past incidents, past uh, all kinds of activities, experiences. You are the past. You are knowledge, which is the past. So, that is the brain. We are saying, and the speaker may be wrong, and he has discussed this matter with several so-called scientists, and even then, the speaker may be wrong. Don't please accept what he says. Doubt what he says. Question, inquire. He says, the brain is the whole limited consciousness. With all its content, pleasant, unpleasant, ugly, beautiful, subtle, all that is your, the content. 
and the mind is something totally separate from the brain. The mind is outside the brain, the speaker is saying. The scientists are not saying that. The speaker says the brain is one thing and mind is something entirely different. The brain, with all its content, with its struggles, with its pain, anxieties, can never know, understand the beauty of love. Love is limited. It's not, I love one person only, it is too vast, too tremendous. And the brain, with all its conflicts, miseries, confusion, cannot comprehend or hold or be alive to love. Only the mind, which is limitless. So there is a difference between the brain and the mind. Then what it, the questioner doesn't ask, there's still further question involved in this. What is the relationship then between the mind and the brain? The brain is limited, limited because it is made up of all kinds of separate parts, fragmented, broken up, and therefore it is in a constant state of struggle, conflict, whereas the brain is, mind is totally out of that category. There is a relationship only when the brain is completely free, if that is possible, from all the content of its memories. This requires a great deal of inquiry, sensitivity. Intelligence is not of the brain. The intelligence of thought is not cannot contain, contain the intelligence of the mind. You understand? Does somebody understand what I'm talking about? No, all right. Look, sir, be very simple, because if one can be very, very simple, you can go very, very far. But you, if you begin with lots of complex theories and conclusions, you are stuck there. So let's be very simple. Your daily life, going to the office, working, 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 money, trained in certain disciplines as lawyer, surgeon, businessman, or a cook or whatever it is, your brain is being narrowed down, limited. If I am a physicist, I spend years and years learning about physics, studying it, investigating it, researching to it, so my brain is naturally through this peculiar culture that we have is being narrowed down. There are two scientists here, they are great. And our brain has become mechanical, routine, small, because we are so concerned with ourselves, always living in a very, very small area of like, dislike, pain, sorrow and all the rest of it. But 
the mind is something entirely different. You cannot understand that or comprehend the nature of that mind if your brain is limited. You cannot understand the limitless when your life is limited. Right? So that is the relationship. The relationship between the brain and the mind can only take place when the brain is free from its content. This is a complex question, requires much more going into, but we haven't the time for it. <laughs>